there's been some talk on the transfer cutouts in the cylinder sleeves so I thought I'd do a quick video here the cylinder on the right you can see these are the cutouts for the transfers and right through here is where the transfer flows through on both sides now if you look here's on a modified cylinder you can see this is shorter and what I'm going to do, go to next is show you exactly how the piston is working against uh, these two types of cutouts. As the piston comes down, it's building some compression in the crankcase. And as the piston slides down, it finally opens the transfer ports. Now if you look, when the transfer ports are open, just starting to open, you can see the piston cutout starting to show. So, I can get my hand in here just right. As the piston comes down, opening those transfer ports, you can see the piston is closing off the transfer area in the side. So as the piston comes down, and that's about top, bottom dead center, so where the confusion kind of lies is um, where this cutout should be. Now, some tuners, you know, will cut way up inside, way up inside this port area, cutout area, believing it's going to help flow. But as you can see, as soon as the um, port starts to open, the piston is actually starting to close off this area at the bottom. So anything above this really doesn't matter. It can be cut out or not because the piston is closing this section off. So uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense either way to um, cut it any higher than where the piston actually starts to cut off the, uh, the uh, flow from the transfer cutout. So I hope that kind of makes sense.